Hello everybody, I'm Keisha with the Glamorous French Housewife. Today I'm back in my kitchen with another kitchen organizational video for you guys. I've already shown you how I organize my pantry, my kitchen drawers, my kitchen cabinets. I even have a video up of how I organize my kitchen office. But today I specifically want to talk about how I organize my kitchen sink, the cabinets below my kitchen sink, and how we stay organized in this one area. Now every home is different. Um, I know some people don't have the kind of room that we have under their kitchen sinks. So if that's the case, you can always, you know, do a few things. You can either store maybe some of your stuff in the garage that is under your kitchen sink. You can use a cabinet, you can use a pantry, you can use a closet. Um, you can use drawers like the one right here. There's tons of ways you can like organize really well under your kitchen sink. For us, um, what I do here really works well. We, we pretty much stay nice and tidy under the sink at all times with the way things are set up and it's not even complicated. Um, another thing you might want to do if you have just a limited amount of space is be a little more choosy about the products you're buying. I would be buying products that you know are double duty. Stuff that, like, that you can dust with and that will clean your electronics at the same time. Um, just lots of things that you can you know, use and not have to buy a ton of. You can use them over in the bathroom, you can use them in the kitchen. You know, if you don't have a lot of space for products, there's no sense in going out and buying a ton of products. There's no sense in it. There's tons of products that you can buy that do so many double duty tricks, it's not even funny. Now, I like cleaning supplies. For me, a lot of times, buying the new cleaning supplies almost inspires me to clean more because I want to use those supplies. And we have the room. But if you don't, just be a little more choosy about, you know, the products that you're picking up and the products that you really use often. Because I know a lot of my friends, anyway, buy a lot of, you know, household products that just go under their sink and they never use them. They just forget about them. They get pushed in the back. And, you know, with what I'm going to show you, everything is pretty much brought to the front. You can see what you have. And we're going to get started. If you want to see how I organize the top and underneath of my kitchen sink, just keep watching. I'll show you everything. So here is our kitchen sink area, as you can see. We have a corner sink, so we have a lot of room right behind the sink, and we have these two big windows right here. And I will show you how I organize um, the herbs whenever I show you um, how I organize my cookbooks on my bigger stand and my island. I'll show you how I organize my herbs in that same video. But being that we had this corner sink, I have a lot of room back here that I really cannot just easily reach. So I normally keep it kind of like festive with whatever's going on. Right now it's like November 30th and I have some fall flowers out still, a scarecrow, the pumpkin, cute little harvest sun, and soon we'll have the pink Christmas tree that is for our kitchen right there. The plug makes it so nice, um, you know, for decorations. So that is that area. Now over to the right, we keep our paper towels. This is really not my preferred way of storing towels in the kitchen, paper towels that is. I really like, and it's coming in rolled, but I really like um, using under the cabinet hangers for paper towels. I just always loved it. But anymore, these are getting so wide that it's hard to find an under the counter um, or under the cabinet um, paper towel holder. So I just used this and it works. And I think we got that at Walmart many years ago. We also have this very small little plunger because our garbage disposal sometimes has trouble draining. So this works perfect just to help the water go down and we just keep it right there because we use it like almost every day. And we have a stainless steel sink with the garbage disposal. And I don't expect it to stay this way all the time because, you know, we have three people here in the, in the winter and five people here in the summer or six if the big kids are here. And there's no way it's going to stay like this. Now, my friend Jen does like to empty her dishwasher like late at night after dinner. Her boys empty it for her and then they just fill up the dishwasher um, during the day and run it again after dinner. For us in our home, normally we put our dirty dishes here from morning um, and afternoon. And then when I'm cooking dinner, I will start to empty the dishwasher and fill it up with whatever, um, you know, dirty forks and plates and cups we have. But 
Scott works till like eight, nine o'clock most nights. So, you know, emptying it after um, he eats would just be like really late for us. So we um, empty it before and then um, we just put our dirty stuff here until I get it emptied in, you know, um, dinner time. And over here to this side, I keep some of my favorite cleaning products that I grab on a daily basis, numerous times a day actually. Now, I don't like a lot of stuff on my counters, but we have room to keep my most used cleaning stuff. So I have, and this is new, I haven't used this yet, this Lysol Touch of Foam Antibacterial Hand Wash. This one is in Creamy Vanilla Orchid. And I like an antibacterial wash. Um, my favorite is not this one, but I just decided to try it. But my favorite is the Mrs. Myers. Now remember when I said that there were tons, tons of products that will do double duty. Here is one of them. This is the Clorox Anywhere Hard Surface Cleanser and it kills 99% of bacteria. So in the winter, this is perfect during flu season to use in your kitchen, on your door handles, in your bathrooms, on the toilets. This cleaning spray can be used anywhere and I really do like it. I use it often and I have a bottle um, upstairs because I don't really believe in keeping stuff to clean the upstairs downstairs. I don't want to have to make all those trips. So we keep, you know, other cleaning supplies on the second floor. And this is one of the items because it's so handy and it's disinfecting. Now, I also love, love, love the Myers Clean Day Geranium Dishwasher, Dish Soap. I keep saying washer, dish soap. And this smells divine. It's one of my absolute favorites. It's all natural. I also love the Mrs. Myers Clean Day Lavender Countertop Spray. Now we go through these like nobody's business. We probably, in the past month, have probably been through at least four, maybe five, because I use these on all, use this on all kinds of stuff. We actually just cleaned our leather furniture with this. It smells so good when you use it. It really smells amazing throughout the house. We use these up. I should do a full review. I just haven't done it yet. My other favorite cleaning product that I keep out is the Method Glass and Surface. I use this, um, you know, to put around here and shine up the sink a little bit. Um, but I don't like a really dirty sink. I don't like dishes in the sink. So, you know, we do rinse them. We scrape them. The... The dishes are rinsed and they just sit here until I'm ready. But most of the time, that's not very long. And so, over here to the left is another drawer. And in this drawer, I have more stuff to wash dishes. So, I have this little bin. I think I just got it at the dollar store. It holds an assortment of different dish rags. And then I have some of my sponges that I'm using. I was running low with just one. So I got another pack. These are the Scotch Bright Stay Clean Non Scratch Scrub Sponges. That's a mouthful. And I like that these don't allow food to come in on the top. That's what I like the best about those. So those just live here along with my Mr. Sponge Eraser, which I love those. And I have this scrubby brush to clean around the sink if I need to or some hard pan. It just lives right here. And this is a microfiber cloth that I don't use every day, um, but it's there in case I want it. So that is that drawer. Now, we have two cabinets under the sink. Well, not really, well, kind of, uh, in the sink area. And this one to the left is more my husband's, and this one to the right is more mine, and, you know, it has the cleaning stuff. So in this cabinet, my husband has, you know, a nice little variety of tools. So I keep those in this basket. Now, let me explain. These are indoor tools. We have the tool bag out in the garage, but there's a lot of times we just want to grab a screwdriver really quick and we'll just come in right here to this basket. I'm sure it could be more organized, but being that it's for my husband, who never stays organized, I just let him pile stuff up in the basket that he uses. We also keep some spray paint and some flashlights in the back, and then more just like home repair kind of stuff up on that shelf. And this is like his little tool area in the house. Um, so he doesn't always have to run to the garage just to get a screwdriver or um, some WD-40. We just keep all that right there and it stays nice and tidy. Now I believe I could have took that shelf out and stored my um, cookie tray standing straight up. I have plenty of room otherwise I might have done that. but. This is basically my husband's cabinet, and even though it doesn't look too organized, it actually really is for him. 
again, just like flashlights in the back, paint on the side. The basket has more of his everyday tools in it that he likes to use. And on the top is just more home repair kind of stuff. This area houses mainly the cleaning supplies for the first floor. And let's open it and have a look. So here's how it looks. And on my door, I have a door hanger that holds my dust rag that I used to dust. I have one of these little clips that just holds my kitchen gloves right on the door just for convenience. Now, as you look in here, to the left, you will see the stackable bin. And this stackable bin holds my Cascade dish tablets. It holds, you know, like the sink stoppers. That's the first drawer. The second one holds these little Brillo cleaning um, pads that work great on like you know pots that are really dirty I also have our scrubby brush in this area and on the bottom I have this little pan there's a little dust pan and a little um, you know like kitchen broom just very small one and then right here in the middle is my little cleaning basket and why I like this is because when I go to clean my house usually on Mondays I can just grab this out sit it out on my island my kitchen island and I have everything that I need so in here I keep my feather duster of course and um, I keep this lemon oil treatment for the dining room table I keep this pledge um, revitalizing oil for other wood um, furniture and I have a Brasso cleaner that cleans and polishes the brass pots that I have. I have another sponge that I use just for the bathroom downstairs. I know that's just for this bathroom. I have a Love My Carpet. This is part of my pet. Now I don't use these very often but I do have it in here just for the days I really want to like freshen up the carpet. This is one of my favorite um, desk sprays, and this is another one of those double duties. This is the Pledge Multi-Surface, so you can clean your um, sealed granite, your metal, your finished wood, your glass, and your electronics with just one product. This is brilliant. I love this stuff. I have one of these little bathroom cleaners. Again, that's for the downstairs bathroom only because I don't want to have to haul products upstairs. I have my mop stuff and just a roll of paper towels. Have my air fresheners. Um, what else is down here? What is that? Oh, I have more gloves for you know when I'm cleaning the bathroom because I don't like to clean the bathroom usually without gloves. Um, I have my soft cleanser. This is the Comet Scratch Free with Bleach. I also have this Comet, which is great for toilets and um, more bathroom stuff. Um, this one has bleach also. And then I also, and there's no random order of this stuff. It just fits here. I have both of my kitchen um, stove cleansers. This is the Weeman. This is the glass top um, heavy duty cleanser and polisher. And then just for the quick job, I have the Weeman cooktop daily cleanser. So I love both of those. And those items just live right here in this little bin. It makes Monday cleaning so much easier. To the right, I have my trash bags, and I always have those right up front so we don't have to dig around for them. And then over here to the right is some more products that I use that I just kind of store up. I don't um, save a lot of products, but I have like my carpet cleaner. I have more bathroom cleanser. I have more Windex right here. I have more mopping stuff. I even have more dish soap. This is one of my other favorites. This is the Method dish soap. This one is in Sea Minerals. Love that stuff. I have more stuff I'm on my floor with right back there. Just some larger bottles of stuff that I keep close and up front. So I know if I use it in here and I can replace it, I do replace it. If I use it every once in a while, I'll just store it over here um, just for convenience. So I see it. I know I need to use it. And I don't forget about it. In the back here are more glass bottles that I used to keep oils and vinegars in. Wasn't sure what I was doing with those. So they just live right back there. And let me pull this out and show you the back. So I do like keeping a few of plastic bottles I get. I find these work great for so many different things. And I just save them. I also save the method or the Mrs. Myers clean day bottles because I like these a lot too and I can use them for other stuff. 
um, back here in this little bin is stuff to do with pets from everything from the fish to the cats to the dogs anything to do with pets I you know that stays in the kitchen area I just keep right here I also have this fish tank rock cleanser it's just a another little you know drainer um, but we use it for fish tank rocks and this has been stained up for a while, but I seriously thought about putting something down, but I just don't. I have an extra toilet bowl cleanser and a fly swatter in the back back here. And behind this, these are just stackable bins. I just bought some for another project. I have bug cleaner cleanser and some light bulbs. So everything just fits so easy this way that we don't really spend a lot of time looking for stuff. We know where everything's at. Um, we know that if we need a spare bottle, they're usually right back here on the side. And if we're looking for a cleansing, cleansing product that we use all the time, chances are it's going to be right here. Grabbing a garbage bag couldn't be easier. And, um, you know, all the other products are right here so I can see them and use them easier. This just keeps everything nice and tidy. I know some people like the Lazy Susans. I really don't like those. I find I have... Too many cleansing supplies, and um, they're too heavy, and the Lazy Susan never goes around. So I really prefer this myself. But this is just my way of making things work for us. Everybody does, you know, their organizational different, but this way works perfect for our family. So I hope you've enjoyed this video on how I organize under our kitchen sink. It's pretty simple. There's not a lot to it, but it's really thinking through the products that you use finding a way to bring them to the front so you use them more and make the most out of the space you have. Now I did forget to mention that I always keep like a clean dish towel right here at the edge of the sink. A lot of times my family will use a dish towel rather than a paper towel to dry their hands if they're in a hurry. So it, you know, is convenient. It saves money just to have a clean dish towel right here. We always have one. But you know, my way, again, is not the only way. It's just what works for us. And I would love to hear if your um, kitchen sink is organized, if your cabinet under the sink is organized, what tips you can share with us and our readers in the comments below. You can check out more on my blog at kjaggers.com. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful weekend, and I'll be back really soon. Bye-bye.